Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you are brand new here, I'm so glad that you are. I'm so glad that you found me. Hi, I'm Bonnie, Old Soul Mermaid. And today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Key Master Tarot Ultimate Package. So a couple of months ago, you can find on my channel, I did an unboxing of this Key Master Tarot which is made by Stockholm 17. He is basically a playing card creator. Now the Keymaster Tarot is based on his images in his deck, the House of the Rising Spade. So you can find this unboxing on my channel, but my husband and I both wanted, you know, a deck. So he ordered all the spiffs and all the extra and the fancy gilded copy. And then I got a basic copy that came in this hard, you know, beautiful felt lined box. It's beautiful, but this just came with a little white book and a, a, an art card, a double backer card, and um, these are ungilded. So we are going to unbox the ultimate package, which is fancier, and we got some spiffs. I ordered some spiffs, and we are going to go through it. Now they had, I think we literally backed this almost a year ago, and because of everything that's going on in the world, um, we were able to get this one a month or two ago, but everything else was held up because he had problems with the gilding, the factory messed, messed up on the gilding, and just one problem after problem. I felt so bad <laughs> for the creator and yeah, everything that's going on, but that, that was 2020, right? So we have it now in our hands. So I just basically took everything out of the box and this is how it was packaged so beautifully. So we're going to go pick through it. It's kind of like Christmas, like Christmas in late January. So you can see we got some stickers. Some of them I think we got free and my husband, I can't even remember, may have added some on. So I will use these, some of them for maybe journaling, making a journal. Yeah, so the, you know, this is temperance and this is the fool. So my husband and I will have to divvy these up between ourselves. There is a cute little pin that will probably go on maybe a tarot bag. Yeah, Stockholm 17. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fight with that now. You've got a, a deck bag. These were very cheap, I think. Um, you get one free, but if you wanted extras, they were $6 a piece. The, the deck is very, is kind of on the long and narrow side. So, um, you can't fit it with the box, but you can, you know, just fit the deck itself. It's, it's, you know polyester. It's nothing fancy, but I'll find a use for this. Now this is my husband's. Yeah, he's going to keep his deck in this box, but he's, he's going to, we're going to switch out the boxes. So the un, he doesn't care about the gilding. So we're going to put the ungilded deck in here and I'm going to keep the, the gilded cards. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. So we're gonna put this off to the side because you also, you could add on for $15, you got, you know, a little mini deck, which I can use. I can totally use with doing bigger spreads. So this is the mini extra. And this was the book that you could get with the ultimate package. Now, I'm very, very curious to see this book. It is hard. And look, it's kind of the soft bound, string bound binding. So introduction. And he goes, let's see, you get a beautiful, beautiful artwork. So this is basically an art book. 
book. He's not a real tarot person. Um, this is his first tarot deck. He mostly does playing cards, beautiful playing cards. So um, I want to see if there was somebody who helped him write this. I don't know. Maybe in the back it'll say. So you go right into the meaning of the fool, a description, esoteric traditional keywords, practical keywords, and ask the fool. Some questions you can ask the fool. And it looks like it's all set up the same. But look at these images, nice paper. Beautiful matte paper. Let's see what you get for uh, the miners. Now this is a pip deck. It's in the Marseille style. So we'll go into the minor arcana. Ooh. So spades and swords. So spades equals swords. So he just does a brief overview. So an ace is a singular problem, a decision, two, a relationship problem, an argument, three, complications in a struggle, traps. So you get an overview of the suit of swords. Then the diamonds or pentacles or coins, however you want, you get essence, realm, associations, key concepts, Clubs or wands, hearts and cups, and then he goes into the court cards. Very brief description of the court cards, but you get keywords. So it's not totally, a, you know, you can learn how to read tarot or Marseille with this deck, uh, with this book, rather. But it, look at the artwork, it is so beautiful. So I want to see the cards, I'm just trying to look. Okay, so I'm in the back and it says, the text by Regina Hop, Hoppengardner. All right, because I know he's not like a real, you know, tarot guy. You've got some geometry drawing back here it's a place for notes you have the key master five card spread you have a celtic cross so you've got a blank page here and reading three cards using so it's using the cards so not totally you know not a ton of information but you know enough and the other thing I made my husband spring for was this tarot cloth. I think it was really, really cheap. So let me see if I can get up a little bit. It's like this velvet, velvet and embroidery with this gold braid kind of edge. It's really nice and you'll be seeing it in my videos. <laughs> but yes, I think it was just really cheap, like 10 or $15. Otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it. You know, if it, I, I think if it were $25, I wouldn't have sprung for it. I think it was very, very reasonable and that's why I got it. it Cause I think it's beautiful. It's navy and black and gold which how can you not love that okay so we're gonna get into the cards just really quick so look at this beautiful box this is going on our bookcase i think or it may go on my husband's work de desk look at that so there is a seal here let me see if this matches yeah this matches the back of the regular, the box that I have. Um, I kind of don't want to open the seal. It is so beautiful. I'm going to have to go ask my husband what's, what he wants to do with this. 
So I consulted with the husband on how to open it and he just opened it with an X-Acto knife. So <laughs> we are going to look at that. So this is the lid and this is just, just like the bottom of my other box. It's the same, same packaging. Yeah, this is the bottom and it does come with a little white book and more plastic. So it does come, look at that. Look how nice that's gonna look on a book bookcase. So we're gonna move that away. So it does come with a little white book, just like the other, my other deck, but look at the beautiful gold gilding. Wow. Wow. And just for comparison, for those of you who like to compare, um, let me get my other deck out. Oh, it's not in order because I've been playing with it. But see, everything is the same except for the gilding. You know, there's no anything more fancy in this imagery than there is in this. It's exactly the same, but this is the difference. So if you'd like, I have a full unboxing of this deck, but while we're here, I'll just flip through it really quick in case you haven't seen it. Beautiful, beautiful, mm. smells good. <laughs> That new card smell. Now this card stock, I will tell you, is on the thinner side, but I think it has a core in it because it's, you know, he's a playing card deck guy. Now these, I think because my husband and I are in Texas and you see this has a very Marseille feel, coloration to the, to the deck. Um, because we're in Texas, these cards came from Gambler's Warehouse. Well, originally made in China, I think, overseas, and then shipped to Gambler's Warehouse, which is in uh, Dallas, and we are in Austin. So I think, you know, maybe we got ours fairly quick. Oh, aren't these beautiful? You know what? I think we're going to leave the Gilded Edition in the... Uh, fancy box and I'm just going to use keep using my ungilded because these are so beautiful and I don't know how the gilding on the side is going to hold up with heavy use so yeah I've been playing with them uh, again Marseille is something that I want to delve into this year it's a goal for 2021 I'm going to show you at least the majors and a few of the minors. Just in case you haven't seen my unboxing, my initial unboxing of the other deck. <clears throat> and if you were just, you know, wanting to know the differences. Yeah, my, you know, I kept telling my husband to add things to his pledge so with his deck because his deck was the gilded so this is the ace of spades because he got the gilded version with the fancier box that you know the gilding what was I believe what held everything up and then there were some other maybe printing problems but you see how gorgeous they are I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit show you the quartz. So they added a knight, you know, usually in his uh, playing card deck, there's no knight. So a lot of these cards you can see in the little playing card deck. So this is the coloration for the diamonds. Very beautiful. And we'll skip ahead. So you can see the court cards. She 
she reminds me of the evil queen in Snow White, doesn't she? We're in the clubs now. So you can see the coloration with the suit and we're gonna skip ahead. Aren't the backs gorgeous, you guys? Here we go. Just so you can see. Yeah, I thought that the cardstock would be sturdier, but it is very flexible. So if you are a riff, riffle shuffler, um, this would be, you know, an amusement park to shuffle with. Hearts. And we'll skip away to the courts. So they are taller and skinnier than a, a normal tarot card, I think. Just a little bit. I think she's fantastic. I don't know if this deck is still available. Oh, actually I do know. You can still get this deck in a tuck box. So this size, ungilded, in a tuck box that looks a little bit like this mini. I think the pictures on the side are different on the tuck box. And I think it's $40. I will try to find the link and I will link it below. But in this fancier box iteration, the two box iterations that I have, I don't know if that's still available. But if you still like the imagery, you can get it in a tuck box. I think he has a limited number though, maybe just a couple hundred left. Um, I will link it below. I will research it bef before I post this video. There are the art cards and, and the double backer. Um, just so you can see, because it's so cute. Here is the mini deck. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so. This is linen cardstock. Whereas this deck is a smooth mat. This is linen, like regular playing card. So I'm thinking that's what the the uh, tuck box version will probably be. This is fantastic. Same backs, same fronts, but there is a bit of a border. So this is super tiny and it's so cute. So I think this is probably, I don't, really know what the what the tuck box version is going to look like but there the last time I checked there were still some left so I will definitely link that below any information any pictures um that I can find I I'm thinking that it will probably be this like this with the border around and this linen cardstock which is fantastic I was kind of hoping that the main deck would be this card linen cardstock because I love it it's sturdy but flexible you know with this one I'm kind of worried about what the snapback is going to be like it might be easy to 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 bend whereas you know playing cards and linen cardstock has a wonderful snapback so yeah, that is it, you guys. So, you guys, that concludes my look at the Keymaster Ultimate deck and some of the spiffs that came with, or the add-ons that we that came with the deck and that we purchased. And I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you got this deck or if you're interested in it, even in the in the regular tuck tuck box version. Uh, let me know what you think. I love to hear what your opinions are in the comments below. And with that, I will leave you till next time. Bye for now.